Dear Pixie, you asked us. In the dream, the Overlord teams were deployed and had many skills. When they found the Star Seeds, they had equal skills and also skills above those of the Overlords. The leaders of the Overlords could not understand why the Star Seeds had these skills when such extensive training had taken place within the Overlord structure to give them these skills. The Overlord factions were bitter, angry, determined and focused, almost as if they were following some kind of mind-controlling program. The Star Seeds were happy and joyful with open hearts. I know this is all fiction, as it was just a dream, and holds inspiration for the creative writing of a novel. But could the Nine tell me please the meaning of this dream? It is exactly as shown. This is the way it is. Extensive training for Overlord Structure Initiates received at third dimensional and lower fourth dimensional level using the model of reality most easily understood by you, Magenta Pixie, our conduit. Training received by receptive awakened humanity at higher dimensional level through guidance system structure and quartz key utilization. Whilst Overlord Structure had the technologies to become aware of influx of star seeds and potential locations of some, most were inaccessible and hidden. Hence the original hijack of early juice programs and other implementations in order to prevent star seed awakening. The length, breadth and widespread rising of star seeded light was not expected and neither was the level of training the star seeds received. Your dream shows the play out as a level playing field. The third dimension presents a win at service to self level with the service to others as the underdog, if you will. However, this is an illusory presentation. The actuality is always greater expansion from light, for light touches arenas where the footsteps of darkness may not tread. Therefore, the truth is an even playing field with an organic plasma rainbow sine wave moving alongside the iron core structure artificial sine wave. The two create the bifurcation you currently experience within your reality. You asked us, if we have come back from the future to help humanity and collapse timelines, does that mean we could be collapsing some of our future timelines, even if they were good? Not by getting it wrong, but by making different choices, while still good choices in this linear lifetime. For example, could some of our future children no longer exist? We break your question down in order to provide the most aligned response. If we have come back from the future to help humanity and collapse timelines. One needs to hold the awareness that this statement or rather question is metaphor. Indeed at soul memory structure, there are those that have existed within future timelines by virtue of the memory of them through zero point field immersion. Yet it is also true to say from your perspective that the future, your future 
is unwritten and you have come into existence in linear fashion from past to present. Indeed, helping humanity is the collective mission for these memory-activated missioned souls. Collapsing timelines is again a metaphor for movement and momentum through the quantum field time matrix. This is simply an explanation of moving towards the singularity through linear awareness as all timelines converge. The collapse of timelines is simply mastery over creational, focused, intentional, geometric, instructional sets into manifestation in matter. The next part of your quest, does that mean we could be collapsing some of our future timelines, even if they were good? All timelines will collapse as they converge into the singularity. So indeed, timelines you refer to as good, we take this to mean positively polarized, ultimately would be drawn into the singularity. Yet the frequency remains. The manifestation of the singularity is the organic and the superimposed iron core structure is an overlay or dark veil obscuring the singularity from view. However, this does not apply to those with activated sight through pineal gland crystalline activation, for they are at one with and thus create the singularity. You said not by getting it wrong, but by making different choices whilst still good choices in this linear lifetime. You speak here of individualized timelines. Indeed, this is the case. Yet you are, if you will, moving towards your own singularity for you as all that is you in alignment with the great grand collective singularity. In both cases, indeed, you will collapse timelines as your personal timelines converge. And some may be those you perceive as good. However, at awakened and activated star seeded level, as an initiate of the love light light love aurora frequency, you enter the win win situation where all timelines hold the positively polarized frequency and thus the good play out. For all our fractalized presentations of the other playing out in infinite scenarios and probabilities. You asked, for example, could some of our future children no longer exist? We understand the question you are asking. In truth, nothing and no one no longer exists, for all remains in existence. Yet from the individualized perspective, there are as many potential future children as there are sperms meeting the egg, if you will. Therefore, whilst the aligned response to your question would be yes, destiny also plays a part. And that is the destiny of the soul that has chosen you as his or her parents. If that soul moves into incarnation via cohesive and coherent, focused intentional trajectory, as in destined, then no, it is not possible for future children to not exist, regardless of choices, for the same soul will enter multiple variations of sperm meeting egg throughout a quantum field 
as large section of probability timelines and will thus always incarnate. You asked us, please can you tell me how an individual who is in chronic physical pain long term can raise their emotional frequency to bliss charged love and joy enough to move through crystalline reconstruction of the DNA and ascension. The individual would compartmentalize the sensation of pain. We repeat, the individual would compartmentalize the sensation of pain whilst working on the analysis and integration of it. Pain is both a message and the messenger and thus can be given personification from the host in order to communicate directly with the sensation. Outside healing modalities and Florence Nightingale starseeds would likely be sought as facilitator and companion upon this journey. For this is dark night of the soul of the body at physical level. Yet there is always light at the end of the soul dark night journey for the devout seeker of the way. Surrender and gratitude must be in place within the journey and as part of the integrative process. Whilst this can be seen as challenge or test, if you will, it is ultimately opportunity for initiation. The individual who remembers and knows that all natural healers take a personal healing journey will take into their fields and their energetic sphere the understanding of the flame letter phrase, Physician, heal thyself. As this path is walked, the crystalline reconstruction takes place simultaneously. Bliss and joy templates are presented within this journey, just as they are presented within all star-seeded journeys. The mistletoe calls, as do many neon flickers of light within the plant kingdoms and the worlds of the mushroom masters. He who knows pain knows healing. We repeat, he who knows pain knows healing. The pain one feels triggers one to move upwards to draw down the new healing templates that became available on your planet as you moved through the time of the Lionsgate portal 2023. Yet the message is to be heeded and the messenger is to be connected with. The blue crystal shield is a template for healing of pain and release of pain to be utilized once integration has moved into the place of clearing. The blue crystal shield is to be utilized with the working spiritual partner, twin flame or healing facilitator. This is the imagining through cohesive focus and clear sighted inner vision of the shield surrounding the body. We speak here of visualization mastery. The shield can present as you wish it to be so, or one can allow the shield to present as itself wishes, for it is a living plasmic geometric structure held via the Archangel Michael template and thus it can be called upon. The blue crystals can be utilized as grounding frequency 
and one may use the palest of blue through to the brightest royal into the darkest of blue-black. For the blue is the healing colour and it can be carried to you from the blue unicorn, the blue dragon, the blue feline or the blue birds. Yet none so more potent a carrier of the shield from antimatter to matter through your hyperspace rainbow bridge than the Kingfisher. For the Kingfisher, as the most royal of the winged avians upon your planet, holding the healing templates, are indeed the physical manifestation of the Archangel Michael. This holds the colour and tone of blue and stands as gateway for the new colour frequencies to come through into your dimension. We refer to this as the blue kingfisher template. The kingfisher moves into your hyperspace reality via the central sun gateway of Alcyone, the core point of Pleiadian light. It is the Pleiadian healing templates that are carried upon the blue wings of the royal bird. Yet this is flame letter catalyst, memory trigger for healing and an invitation into initiatory pathways of divine integration, imploding the catalyst into the first calling or seed point for the new dawn within. The spiral labyrinthine portal we speak of, situated in your physical space as constellation of Pleiades, allows for final release of that which binds you to the third dimension. Yet the pain that binds you so too anchors you for a reason, and the reason is a convergence or node point of knowing. The discovery of the convergence, both personal and individual to you, yet also global and at collective level, is paramount. The blue presentations in hyperspace are aspects of your meaningful subjective experience. And the Kingfisher, as portent bird of blue, carries the codes for Archangel Michael overseeing ascension itself. As you go within and follow the wings and feathers that are presented, the crystalline transformation shines before you and thus shall bliss-charged love and joy be yours. For the knowing of the crystalline activation brings you such bliss and joy. So too does the bliss and joy create, catalyze and cause the crystalline activation. It is not one leading to t'other and it is not linear. The movements are one. When you know this, you hold templates for healing and release through alchemical unification. In service, we are the white-winged collective consciousness of nine. I am just so, so happy to be able to announce to you that my new book is available. The Diamond Codex and the Quartz Key. Accessing the accelerated Stargate system through crystalline transformation of the genetic code. What does it mean to transmute one's DNA from carbon-based to crystalline within the context of spiritual enlightenment and physiological evolution? Practical Templates for Photonic Light Gene Expression, Alchemical Unification and Light Body Activation are provided within this channeled transmission 
delivering this codex at a time within humanity's awakening and expansion when synchronicity is abundant. The mysteries of the accelerated Stargate system as an intelligent living infinity structure call the starseeds of Earth to remember why they are incarnated here and what they came here to do. The downloads, epiphanies and realizations that will organically come to each starseed as they immerse themselves within this sacred text are catalysts for those memories. Introducing Dreamwalker, the story, presented through my interdimensional dialogue with the monadic light structure that is the white-winged collective consciousness of Nine. This book has been such an absolute delight and joy to transcribe from the Nine, and I truly hope you enjoy reading it. Available in paperback, hardcover, and Kindle.